Hi everyone. Welcome back and welcome. It's Lonnie and today is another day for Bible Journal in May. Today is day 27 and the prompt is mortal. I chose 1 Corinthians 15 verses 50 to 58 out of the New American Standard, and I believe it's 95. The text took up so much room, I just added some swirls. That's okay. It reads, Now I say this, brethren, that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God, nor does the perishable inherit the imperishable. Behold, I tell you a mystery. We will not all sleep, but we will all be changed in a moment in the twinkling of an eye at the last trumpet, for the trumpet will sound and the dead will be raised imperishable and we will be changed. For this perishable must put on the imperishable and this mortal must put on immortality. But when this perishable will have put on the imperishable, and this mortal will have put on immortality, then will come about the saying that is written, Death is swallowed up in victory. O oh, death, where is your victory? O oh, death, where is your sting? The sting of death is sin, and the power of sin is the law. But thanks be to God, who gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, my beloved brethren, be steadfast, immovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, knowing that your toil is not in vain in the Lord. I think for me what stood out about reading this this last time, and I'd seen it before, but it's nice to see it again, and it still stands out to me, is the word, little word, then. Then will come about the saying that is written, death is swallowed up in victory. When? When this perishable will have put on the imperishable and this mortal will have put on immortality. Then death is swallowed up. Until then, it's part of life on earth. That's what it's saying to me. I mean, this is amazing news we have forward to look forward to. This mortal must put on immortality. The dead will be raised imperishable and we will be changed. But thanks be to God who gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. And there's that other verse. Not sure where it is at the moment, but it's um, whether we live or die, we belong to the Lord. Until this happens, when we put on immortality, until that happens, we are to be steadfast, immovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord knowing that your toil is not in vain in the Lord. So we just keep going and occupying like he told us to. All right, so that's what I have today. And uh, lots to think about there. I know I like to think about the last trumpet and being changed and what, what that will be like. So... Be blessed, have a great day, and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.